Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil. And today we're going to show you how to make tamarind concentrate or tamarind pulp mm -hmm. at home. Yep. So a lot of times what we do is we buy con uh, tamarind paste or concentrate from a grocery store and uh, or we sit and you know make a little bit every day mm -hmm. and a lot of us a lot of us use tamarind paste a lot right. so here's just a quick way of making sure you can have it ready to go anytime you want and just easier mm -hmm. so and cheaper so we have a block of tamarind like this it's a dry tamarind and it's about uh, 200 grams or seven ounces of tamarind and this believe it or not is a lot cheaper to buy than buying the ready-made concentrate mm -hmm. it's literally half the price so we're just gonna open this up and we're going to be using a pressure cooker just to make speed things up a little bit but of course we can do it on the stove uh, but it'll take a little longer time but that's okay it's possible and usually it's a solid block so just Break it apart and you want to break it into small, small chunks. And this one does have seeds and it has fiber. So, but you know, you do get uh, tamarind without seeds and fiber, so that's also okay. There you go. And we're going to put two cups of water into it. So, we're going to close it and we're going to allow it to whistle three times. We really want this, the tamarind to become really soft and nice and then turn off the stove and allow the pressure to go down by itself. So our pressure cooker is off the stove and all the pressure is gone and it is safe to open. Ooh, it's nice and cooked. And we're just going to take a little potato masher and just again loosen it up a little bit. So potato masher is a great way to loosen all the pulp that's around the tamarind without having to use your hands. Of course we do use our hands at some point in time but it's really hot right now so this is a good way to do it get it done quickly. So what you're going to do is we've got a colander over here and we're just using a bowl and we're going to just transfer this here and just allow it to strain. So basically you want the fiber and the seeds out of there. And if you need to we have a little bit of cold water here we can kind of use it to clean up our pressure cooker as well as help cool down the paste a little bit faster. And we're going to allow the pulp to just flow through a little bit and help it along. You can either use the same potato masher or just use a spatula or a spoon. Or a spoon, Anything. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I've pulled out a lot of stuff, a lot of paste and a lot of pulp. And we've still got a lot more um, juice and a lot more meat left in here. So what we're going to do is we can just pour this out here. And we're going to add a little bit more water to this. So another half cup and just mix it in. Now you can stop at that point if you don't feel like doing this and just give it another boil on the stove and you're all set. But we're going to try and take out a little bit more out of it. And you do get it quite a bit more on the second run also. Okay and back again it goes in our strainer. And this time I'm going to use my hands. It's really cool to the touch and it'll help a little better. And here it is. I've squeezed the daylights out of it. <laughs> so we're going to just put this away. This is now trash. And you know that all the pulp is gone because while Anuja was squeezing it and if you looked at the water coming down it was like really clear liquid coming out. So all the pulp right. is gone out of there. So we're going to use the same pressure cooker and we're going to transfer the pulp back in here. Now there's two reasons why we're doing this. One is because we added extra water to it and you want it to boil, you want to keep the tamarind um, you know for a while so you don't want any kind of bacteria or germs and all going into it and you want it to cook well and the other reason is we used our hands so again you want to keep it safe and you make sure it boils well and also reduce the amount so that way it's easier to keep mm -hmm. and and it's concentrated. Concentrated, yes. Yeah. So back on the stove and we're just going to allow it to boil. So here's the paste or the concentrate and once it came to boil we allowed it to boil for just one more minute and we're going to turn off the stove and allow it to cool down now. 
So here's our cooked tamarind pulp, mm -hmm. and you can actually cook it further, and you know keep letting it cook and cook until it reduces mm -hmm. further, and then you'll get the actual tamarind concentrate. But one thing that we found over time, and we bought those jars of tamarind concentrate, where you take off a teaspoon of it and you put it in something, and it takes like one hour for it to melt, and it's just so thick and gooey. You have so to boil water, yeah, mix it, and then. And then Keep working Get at going. It. <laughs> this way, you know, it's easy to work with. You can take some and it mixes in with your food really well. So mm -hmm. that's one benefit of keeping it this consistency. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go further, then that's absolutely fine too. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is we're going to allow it to cool down. Absolutely. And then you can just put it in a jar mm -hmm. or a container. And uh, you can keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, and Or you can even freeze it. The tamarind does not freeze. So that's the advantage. When you put it in the freezer, mm -hmm. you just pull it out. It's still workable. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. But a lot of times we have issues with our fridge space. So you can put it in the freezer. So that's one thing. And the other advantage of doing this is that uh, the tamarind is already cooked. So the raw smell right. is gone, so you don't have to cook it as much when you're cooking your food. Absolutely, that's so a, it's a great you know time, time saver. saver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we'd like to thank Sneha. Actually, the last time we showed you how to remove the pulp from the the dry tamarind, she wrote back and told us that this is what she does, and it's a great time saving tip. So thanks a lot, Sneha, for sharing it with us and for all our viewers. So enjoy your tamarind concentrate for a long, long time and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.